welcome again to my channel my name is Hercules Otieno and I'm very happy to be with you today I hope you saw my video the one that I produced last week and I hope you had some education on it today I thought maybe I should be able to come up with something different uh, something that can be able to gear you towards the direction of uh, uh, purchasing your home or, or uh, maybe purchasing something. So today I thought of coming up with five key reasons how you can manage your debts. Debt, 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 debt. Before I go to that, just like I'd said, my name is Hercules Otieno. I'm a realtor with Realty Group and uh, this is my channel and I'll welcome you again. My number is 763-498-2650. So let's get back to our key reasons. The first reason why you should manage your debt is to avoid high interest rate. We know right now the feds are really pushing the interest rates up and the credit cards, uh, the loans that we are taking, these loans are really going way, way, way up. Sometimes you'll take your loan because you want to finance your education, you want to finance your business, you want to finance maybe purchasing a home. And sometimes also people don't understand that credit cards are all are, are, are loans. So you'll find somebody just misusing the uh, the, the loan or, or going, I mean, or uh, going just into debt because they want to get into debt. Please try to control that because remember, this is something that you'll have to pay. And if the interest rates are really high, you'll find yourself struggling to pay them. Number two, you when you manage your debt, it increases and improves your credit score. We know that credit score is like the mother of everything in this country. And without a good credit score, you can be able to get a loan. So the best way to do it is to try to minimize your debts as much as you can by not borrowing so much. I know in the home industry, if I'm not very, very uh, uh, far away, I think they would need you to be between 30 to 50 percent debt to income ratio so they would want you to not go so much because the lender would not be comfortable with you having too much loans or I mean, having too much debts while they're also going to give you another debt so let's go again that brings us to number three uh, to avoid debt collection we know that in this country most of people tend to have a problem with payments and this ends up with the debt collection you remember remember that this debt collection debt collectors they tend to add interest on top of what they are collecting and in terms of uh, getting these loans is very easy but when you are going now that you can't manage to pay them you end up with the trouble and this trouble ends up with debt collection. They will report on your credit. And then you can't even get anything. You can't buy anything. So the best way is try to minimize that debt that you're trying to take. If you don't need it, you don't have to borrow it. If you find that you have to struggle to pay it, don't have to go for it. Because in the end of the day, you're going to find yourself with a trouble that you don't want to get into. And that gets us to number four. Number four is manage your debt to avoid bankruptcy if your debt becomes too much to handle you'll end up ha having to file for bankruptcy and this can have a serious long consequences on your on on your on your credit because this will include, it will also damage your credit score and make it difficult for difficult for any lender to borrow you remember in this country debts are very good but if you over over borrow you find yourself becomes a weight you can't manage it you will find yourself struggling you will find yourself sometimes if you are working you have to find and this is mostly um, gearing it towards our immigrants we tend to find now you have to work so many hours that you don't need to because why you went and sunk into the debt. You went out, so the Jones has this beautiful car. The Jones has this beautiful house. The Jones has this nice house, nice clothes they are wearing, and so forth. You also want to be part of them. I'm sorry. This is you can't find yourself in this roller coaster. So try to avoid as much as you can. The next thing it's uh, number five. Number five is it makes you to achieve your financial freedom. Remember, when you have, when a debt free, you can be able to reinvest, reinvest the money that you get from your paycheck. Part of it, you can pay your bills and the rest you can be able to, I mean, create some business or something which will give you financial freedom. Because we find that most of the time we as immigrants, we come to this country, we find that it's very easy to get debt. And then we start sinking into it fully because we want to be like that person that we came and found. We don't know how they make their money. We don't know how much, how their debts are. We don't know so many things about them. 
because we hang out with them or we work together, we think we should be like them. So my appeal to you, I'm Hercules Otieno, I'm appealing to you. Please, please, please don't find yourself sinking into these debts because you will be number one, have high interest rate on your credit card. Number two, your credit will be messed up. Number three, you'll have, you'll, you'll, you'll get collections. Collection, collection, collections will be collecting, companies will be calling you. Number four, you will be in bankruptcy. You will have to file for bankruptcy. And number five, you will never have a, a financial freedom. So otherwise, thank you very much again. I'm Hakile Zotieno. I'm a realtor with Realty Group. And I'm inviting you to my website, which is www.herculesderealtor.com. My phone number, if you want to reach me, is 763-498-2650. You can also reach me on my social media, which is HerculesTheRealtor.com or you can go to Hercules Otieno. That is my Facebook. Go to my Twitter, Hercules Otieno. If you go to my Instagram, Hercules Otieno. I keep on laughing about my TikTok, which is Hercules Otieno. So thank you very much and see you again in my next video.